Yeah, so this morning I'm having a little bit of coffee and I wanted to go over um, the zero issue of No Man's that I, that was my first printed comic book. I'm going to be going through um, some of the, the original pencils and we're going to crack open the original proof of no man's which i have here in this frame it's been in this frame for almost five years now and uh, we're going to do a flip through of the original proof now the the pages in this are going to be um different than what's in the volume one so Nomads Volume 1 is going to be uh, the definitive version of Nomads. So once, once that's released, no more changes, no nothing. Um, I've stated before that Nomads Zero was my first printed comic that I made. So there was, you know, it was a big learning curve. And... Uh, and uh, it was definitely definitely a lot of fun, uh, but also not not exactly perfect. I wanted to really take a moment to to thank everyone who's contributed, everyone who's backed this project, believed in this project. I I can't say enough how thankful I am for all of you, for everyone who contributed, even if it's just a dollar. Um, it means a lot, especially in this time, and it's. Give me the opportunity to print Nomads um, and and show it to you guys the, the way that I intended to show it to you. And um, it's been a, a passion of mine for for going on five years now. And uh, I just I'm I'm almost speechless about, you know, my feelings for how I feel about the support. I just feel very supportive, feel very inspired. And um, I'm. Super excited to get that book to you guys. Let's get into the zero issue. All right. I got a got an arm here to hold my phone so I can use both hands for this. So I originally got this printed um, through Comics Wellspring, and I continue to print with them. Um they are they're a really a quality printer that's in in the area and i can drive and pick these comics up and um they've always been just like high quality so first thing here this is the proof this is the original proof of the first comic ever that i made and printed it's got the date on it and i keep this comic up by my desk um and for, you know, the last couple of years, this was the way that you could get nomads. And I, I would sell these at shows and stuff. And I, I'm no longer going to be printing these single issues. Nomads is going to go straight to um, graphic novel format from here on. So issue zero. What was that like the Jurassic Park font? <laughs> An old staple. I think what's cool about this cover is um, when I I drew it pretty early on, so I just made some of these characters up, like this dude with the mallet, this guy with these like horns here, and this guy, this eyeball guy, he's not even in this issue. I just threw him in there. I thought he was cool, and he ends up showing up later on in the book. Um, our original Attack of the Rivals logo from many years ago. Um, you'll see a, an updated version of that for sure. Um, a nice little thank you and dedication. Thankful for people who, who helped out. And uh, really this book was dedicated to my father. Um, and so this, this was my first foray into digital coloring. Of my comic. In fact, I actually hadn't even inked 
this comic. This is all actually graphite. Um, and I really, I love how these original pages printed. Um, just to kind of slide this over so you guys can see. Yeah, this is all pencil. The pencil that you see here is what, what showed up in the printed book. And it will continue to be that way. Um, the only, the big things that change in this first part for the collected version is I recolored it. I added some, some better texture. I, um, enhanced some of the colors and I redid the lettering. I wasn't a fan of these, um, scroll boxes. These were an early attempt at doing that, that kind of image thing. But you can see the graphite marks. I gave it a really unique texture. That was one of the things I was trying to figure out was like, how did I want the texture to look? Yeah, so just pencil, man. Oh, the first mini splash. Had, had the uh, tarot bird flying out. Um, flip through. Yeah, and and even like his claws and stuff, they they kind of retained a lot of that texture and lighting. I just went at it with a flat color underneath. A little bit of digital painting. I wasn't quite, um, I didn't quite figure out how I wanted to do that. Um, you, one thing I don't like is how muted these plateaus are, and then this guy is not in perspective. So you'll you'll see stuff like that change in in the uh the volume one. Let's try not to move around too much. Really stoked about how that action panel turned out. Again, all of this stuff was in the graphite, and the way that I had done this is I worked with tracing paper. I didn't have a light board or anything and was working with tracing paper and really tried to make um, the pencils as clean as I could make them, as if I were inking it. Um, one of Hawk's talents, and it's not really explicitly said, but Hawk is an animal tamer. So if you, if you wanted to kind of translate the characters into... D and D roles, Hawk would be a ranger. He can track. He can get a lot of information with just a footprint. Um, he can communicate with with beasts, with animals. You see him here. He's calming the terror bird. An affirmative huff. And the first appearance of Thrash. And the man eaters. So Thresh at this point, he has no idea what this means. All they know is they want to shoot it. Oh, some fun experimentation. This is a little cartoony. Um, but I think it's okay. It's kind of like Wiley Coyote feeling to me. Again, one of the one of the early ons was the the lettering, which again that'll all be fixed, updated, spell checked. <laughs> and now one of the tiers is to get some of these original pencils. Um, that is our one hundred and twenty five dollar tier. You get volume one, and you will get one of these original pencils. Um, this is the Ashcan promo is what I was calling it when I first started. I wasn't really sure how far I wanted to go with nomads. Let's see what the spread looks like. Okay. So here, 
this uh, this panel ended up looking much more dynamic. Thresh firing his shot from this ancient rifle. Um, and the idea is that they aren't super familiar with guns. These are these are magical items to them. Thresh wasn't really uh, bracing too well when he shot the rifle. And now we can kind of get into uh, some dicey territory here. It's on Thresh um, displaying his his uninhibited rage, his frustration. He breaks his rifle in half on a rock. Some of the pencils there. Yeah, so the date on this. July 18th, 2015. Yeah, we had a neighbor give us a drawing table. I put it in our attic. And I just was determined to to start making comics. I had dropped out of art school um, six years prior and was doing IT. And I just decided I wasn't going to do it anymore. The first introduction of the Boar King. Very proud with that, like that action and that motion from him. Let's see. Whoop. Every once in a while, these guys pop out of the sleeves. So not as dynamic when you just look at the pencils. And that was something I, re I realized early on. Either I was going to have to do a lot of drawing, or I was going to have to get good at color. Um, and you, I hope that when you read this, you notice that. You notice the colors. I wanted... I wanted to do something that was different. I didn't want to do the same dreary post-apocalypse. I wanted to to show more like the natural side of it. If you haven't heard the pitch, Nomads is set in a primal future where mankind has fallen and, uh, and it follows Hawk searching for his family, his tribe. They've gone missing. So it's his first time out of the lush a safe rainforest in a southern region. And uh, he travels out, and the book starts when he enters the Badlands. Actually, what's interesting is, right now, the name Boar and Hawk, those names are not their real names. Those are the names that they give to people not of their tribe. They hold their, their identities, their face... And their name is only shared with family. In, the, in this world, um, people adopt the, the animal of their tribe as their identity. They are, they are a represent, representative of the boar or of the hawk. I love that shot of boar. A little wild on the on the proportions, but I was still figuring it out. So close up of the pencils. I knew I knew from the beginning. Just I wanted this big brute, this big giant, strong man. And with that, we're on the last page. The hook. There's a mysterious. somewhat cybernetic robotic being that's watching them that's watched this whole scuffle and part zero to be continued and so in this first book um because it was short it was only 13 pages i want to show this the pencils for this panel yeah Boar King looking mighty. And the last page in pencils. 
So to fill the book and add some extras, I did that in issue zero. And we're going to be doing a more um, expanded version of this in the final printing of volume one. Um, I want to show process. So here's some of my original thumbnails. There's the man eaters for the first time. It's the first time I put them in comic format. It's Hawk wrestling the terror bird. And I changed and expanded stuff even from the thumbnails. Here's some early concepts of Hawk. The various different different looks before I settled on something. More, more like what you see in the middle here. Originally he was a lot skinnier, lankier. I ended up beefing him up a little bit. Now this one's interesting. When I first drew Boar, I was not sure. Boar was the first character I drew for Nomads. That's a wild interpretation. And I believe that these are from like 2012. What could that be? What's next? So yes, yeah, so that is Nomads issue zero. And in our next flashback, in our next flashback, we'll be going over an old sketchbook where I was first starting to try to draw some comics. Also, here's the original drawings for Nomad Zero in my sketchbook. And before I blew them up and drew them, I, I would draw them in my sketchbook to try to clean up those thumbnails. And then again, using tracing paper, I would I would draw them at 11 by 17. But it's been a journey. Um, Nomads Volume 1, The Desert Arc, is on Kickstarter right now. We are funded. We are 150% funded in three days. Um, you can find the link in my bio. Or if you go to TavarasArt.com and uh, click on the Kickstarter tab, it'll take you directly to the campaign. You can get 120 pages plus some for $25. Um, this is going to be a big, beefy book. I'm, I'm planning on having lots of extras. Um, I'm going to see about getting some fan art in there. Potentially some um, some homage pinups of the characters and uh, and more. So if you're interested, click that link in my bio. Show some support. You'll be the first ones to get the book. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. No, man.